This video is on solving simultaneous equations where my equations are linear. So I need to solve the equations 3a plus 2b is equal to 1 and 9a minus 4b is equal to 4. Now I'm going to start by labeling my equations. So I label this 1 and label this 2. Now I'm going to actually use two methods for two different examples. So for this example I'm going to use the method of elimination. So I need either my A's to have the same value here or my B's to have the same value here. Now I'm going to make my B's the same by multiplying my first equation by 2. So then I'll have 4B here and then I'll, ha I'll have minus 4B here and then I'll be able to eliminate the B. So I'm going to times my first equation by 2. So 3A times 2 gives me 6A. 2b times 2 is 4b and 1 times 2 is 2 and I'm going to write my other equation below that 9a minus 4b is equal to 4 now I need to think whether or not I need I, I should add or subtract to cancel these now I can see that if I do 4b add minus 4b I'm going to get 0 so I should add here so let's add So 9a plus 6a is 15a, 4b plus minus 4b is 0, so I don't need to write that, and 2 add 4 is 6, so I have 6 there. Now I can solve this for a, so I have 15a is equal to 6, I just need to divide both sides by 15, and I'm going to get a is equal to 6 over 15, so that means a is equal to 2 over 5. Now I've got my value for a. Now I need to substitute this value of a into either of these equations and find b. I'm going to use the top equation because it has smaller numbers and it looks like it's, it's going to be easier to use. So I'm going to substitute a is equal to 2 over 5 into equation 1 okay so let's do that so 3 times so a is 2 over 5 so 2 over 5 plus 2b is equal to 1 now I'll simplify this I'll get 6 over 5 plus 2b is equal to 1 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply all the terms by 5 so that I don't have a fraction anymore. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying both sides by 5. So I'm multiplying the left-hand side by 5. And I'm multiplying the right-hand side by 5 as well to keep it balanced. So I'm going to have 6 plus 10b is equal to 5. Now I'm going to take away 6 from both sides and that's going to give me 10b is equal to minus 1. And then I'm going to divide by 10 and I'm going to get b is equal to minus 1 over 10. So my values are a is equal to 2 over 5 and b is equal to minus 1 over 10. Now in this next equation I will use a different method. I'm going to use the substitution method here because I've got the equations 5x plus 3y is equal to 9 and I have y is equal to 3x minus 4. So I'm just going to substitute my value for y here which is 3x minus 4 and I'm going to put it into here. So again I'm going to label my equations. I'm going to say 1 and 2 and I'm going to substitute, substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have 5x plus 3 times, well now instead of the y, because I know y is equal to 3x minus 4, that's what I'm going to write here. So 3x minus 4 and then that's equal to 9. Now I'm going to multiply the brackets, so 5x plus 3 times 3x is 9x, 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, is equal to 9. 
and I'm going to collect the X's together here and I'm going to add 12 to both sides so 5x add 9x is 14x and if I add 12 to 9 I'm going to get 21 if I divide both sides by 14 now I'm going to get x is equal to 21 over 14 now I know that simplifies so x is equal to 3 over 2 so I found my value for x, so x is equal to 3 over 2. Now I'm just going to use equation 2 to find my y value because it's a lot easier. I don't need to rearrange so much. So I'm going to substitute my value. So I'm going to substitute, substitute x equals 3 over 2 into equation number 2. So I'm going to have y is equal to 3 times, okay, x is 3 over 2, so 3 over 2 minus 4. So that must mean y is equal to 9 over 2 minus 4. Now I have a fraction and I'm, I need to take away 4. Now this 4, I'm going to write it as a fraction over 2. Now f to write my 4... As a fraction over 2, it must be 8 over 2 because I know 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So I have y is equal to 9 over 2 minus 8 over 2. Now notice I haven't changed anything. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so that's the same as that. So y must be equal to... So 9 over 2 take away 8 over 2 is just 1 over 2. So my values are x is equal to 3 over 2 or 1 and a half and y is equal to a half. Now I'd like you to answer these questions. So solve these simultaneous equations and bring them to the lesson.